the guys send the hook again. So literally I got an idea to make this video like one minute ago. But since I wanna use a bit more words than I would for a tweet or something, I wanna just put it in a video form. I don't know how long this will be, likely not longer than a couple minutes. But what we are talking about today is Sift Station. And Sift Station is every time different as we know when it's Splatfest. And most of them are, to put it one way, absolutely unplayable. But this one I think actually holds one really really interesting concept, so... Yeah, like, Sift Station normally has been something that needed to try like different uh, things for multiplayer that aren't necessarily best for to be the standard, you know, there has been lots of different moving parts or even invisible platforms and stuff like that. Overall, I have to say I like the Sift Station uh, concept because it makes more exciting to play Splatfest instead of less one new mode and, you know, last time it was Canons, like, that's also pretty exciting. But uh, actually I'm waiting a bit to see if, uh, if this actually works in... Uh, uh, you know, Recon. But the reason why we are talking about Sift Station of all the things we could be talking about is actually quite simple. So, I was playing this and I knew about the gimmick which is like this dome drop. I think this dome drops around 1 minute 30 seconds left mark. And after that, you know, you can no longer access it. So, you know, when it drops, you can no longer get in, right? And of course, players that are in and they're then gonna have a death match to, you know, figure out who's gonna be able to claim the turf inside here. So that alone, I think, is pretty interesting uh, concept to have. That you have like this kind of like uh, cage fight and one v one, like who can claim the turf inside. Of course, they're pretty conservative with the amount here. You don't win a lot by winning the one v one, but it's a pretty cool concept, you know. You push to the base and then you get all the way to the uh, contained dome here and you reward this getting the ink control there and there's no way they can get in anymore and you win that ink control for free. And that is kind of interesting for the world. I mean you have that kind of like uh, progress in gameplay where for the first half of the map you try to make it to their base and try to get to that dome and then right after that it's about who's in the middle and then it's pretty easy to be in the middle when the dome drops, but like now it's very like close quarters combats versus whoever is inside this dome. And I don't know, I just think this is honestly genius to me. Like I, I feel like this should be the norm for Turf 4. I think this is how you could make Turf 4 really competitive and really enjoyable to play. If there would be more, more maps like this and more like uh, fleshed out maps like this. Like I just think... You know, because the classic uh, complaint against Turf 4, which I don't agree with, but it still has some merit, is that only the last 30 seconds matters. But in this one, it's kind of like more like a, a sort of like cyclic gameplay, where first you try to make it all the way to the base and cap that dome, and then after that you go to the middle and you again try to get the middle dome. And I, I feel like maybe, maybe it's too late to say for Splatoon 2, you know, I, I know this game is still getting updates but maybe what I'm talking about here would be a bit too big of an update to do but really for Splatoon 3 I want them to do more Turf 4 maps that are like this but they could even hold bigger rewards like this area could be bigger in my opinion like the reward you get by winning this is much bigger and uh, still you know it doesn't it's not an auto win but it's still like a big big uh, you know boon towards your victory so yeah Honestly, this video was just to say that, yo, this <laughs> safety station actually pretty cool, at least the concept there. Uh, but I like the map design too, it's kind of weird, but kind of cool. But yeah, this is it, like, I would want them to do something like this for Splatoon 3 as well, for more to for maps. And also, please, please make safety stations playable in private battles once you're done with Splatfest Nintendo, that would be most, most nice. And also make a last Splatfest so that you can get any safety station. That would also be pretty cool. But yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, just a small video. But still, uh, hopefully, it was nice to watch. And uh, thank Raptor for the music. And see you guys next time.